Welcome back. Before you move on to creating jobs, you need to understand the functions of a sale when in quote, order and in invoice mode. So up in the top right hand corner, you'll put your quote, order and invoice. Firstly, we have items such as line items where they might be giftware, prints, etc. They can be entered as a straight invoice. However, if you wish to enter a framing job, it needs to be entered as a quote. So if we go into this framing job here, you'll see we have the buttons down the bottom, save, save and close and close. So we can edit and add more items if we like. Clicking save, update our price. Okay, click close. Once we raise that from a quote to an, either an order or an invoice, both order and invoice have the same function. The only difference is on the sales docket you produce for your customer. Some businesses require it to be a tax invoice. Okay, so we're now we're in an order. If we go back into this job, you'll see the save and save and close buttons have been removed. So we can now no longer edit this job. So even by taking a line out and close, we can't alter that job. If you do need to edit it, that job again, you simply change it back to a quote, and then you can go back in and edit that job. Okay, we do this for a couple of reasons. The main reason being is to protect a confirmed order or invoice for your customer. So as we update all the prices from the suppliers, if you had left it in there as a quote and a week later you hit the save button again and there'd been a price increase from the suppliers, it would automatically calculate on the, uh, all the new prices from the supplier. Therefore, it would be a difference between the price you quoted your customer and the price today. The other main reasons besides protecting it is that it will also separate what is an actual quote and what is an order or a job to be done. This will then reflect in places such as your dashboard where you can go back and you can have a look at quotes and follow up on quotes. Also in your reports such as your job list, items and cutting lists. So all these will be updated so you can just print off the orders. And also probably the next main one is your purchase orders. So in here you can see at the moment we've got uh, nothing in there. If we go back that sale and we raise it to an order or an invoice, it would have the same effect. Now we go to our purchase orders. You see we've got two items for Anton. So now our supplier has been updated with new items from new jobs. We'll leave it there. This is just a quick one to explain the main differences, but just remember you must always enter a framing job as a quote and then raise to an order once the job is confirmed. If you do need to edit it, then you simply change it back to a quote. Uh, you can go in and edit and change it back to an order afterwards. Okay, that's all for this one.